Well, welcome back to another video, guys. Today, it is all about Pepe. We're gonna be looking at how there is some bullish news coming in as the hold account is rising. We're gonna do some technical analysis on the price of Pepe and some trades I'm also looking at and explore a potential delisting from Binance when it comes to the Pepe token and their flexible loan program. So you don't wanna miss this video, guys, and I'll see you there. Thank you for joining me once again, guys. Your support's much appreciated. Let's jump on in, and if you do like my content, go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, and tick that notification bell. Okay, Pepe, a meme coin. We can see from this news article from newsbtc.com that Pepe is down 78% from May, but hold account is rising. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means more people are accumulating Pepe and holding onto the asset. Well, why? And what does that exactly mean? Now, this could mean that people are having interest in the low price of Pepe at the moment, but always make sure that you're doing your own research when it comes to meme coins, as there is no utility behind meme coins, especially when it comes to Pepe. If we are to take a look at CoinMarketCap, we can see that the volume is nicely up 136.3% in the last 24 hours alone. Our market cap's also up as well, and the price again is up. So we're gonna check that out with some technical analysis. Jumping onto Etherscan when it comes to the Pepe token, we can see that the overall holders is now at 119,672 holders. What does that mean? Well, people are accumulating and holding onto the Pepe token, perhaps given the low prices we are seeing right now with the Pepe token overall, we can see that we have hit some lows since open last time back here on the 23rd of May, and it is down 70, around 73% since then. What are we seeing now? Well, we are seeing an increase of holders and people accumulating the token. However, we're not out of the woods yet. As we just explored on Etherscan, we can see that the falling prices of Pepe, but there is a rising token hold account. This is is unreal and what exactly does it mean in crypto circles token holder count can be used to measure interest and adoption projects with a higher token holder count can be used to indicate strong community support which can translate to the success or appreciation of the asset now when we are talking about community support this is what meme coins largely rely on is community driven meme coins just like doge just like shiba as well as pepe so we can see that potentially this could drive the price to the upside now before we jump into some technical analysis let's just scroll down we can see that binance is to delist pepe from flexible loan program this is following the increasing regulatory scrutiny that binance has announced and will now delist pepe as an asset from the flexible loan program so it's not being delisted from the exchange per se so let's jump on to some technical analysis this is pepe we are currently on the hourly and it looks like we are having a strong rejection right here. We have had a nice pump from this point at about 9101. That is an increase of around about to the tippity top of this level of resistance, a 20% increase over the last 16 hours. However, it does look exhausted. And why are we having this increase? Well, we can see that Bitcoin on the daily has just made the second green candle. It is still open now for another 17 hours. And if we measure to where it's currently open till, that's up at 7.72%. So it does show that Bitcoin is still the king when it comes to driving crypto prices at this stage. There is no divergence with meme coins at this stage and the dominance is up at around about, I believe, 57%. Now, if we do take a look at the Pepe token, I am eyeing out a few trades and always do your own research when it comes to trading the Pepe token. And if you are interested in trading the Pepe token, you can head over to the OKX exchange and do it there using perpetual swaps and also their Web3 wallet. It is decentralized, it is amazing. And if you sign up with my referral link below, you can earn up to $10,000 USDT in their mystery box rewards as well. So go check that out, that is okx.com, very bullish. Now, jumping back onto my potential trades, we are coming up to this level of resistance. We can see that we come to this very low point here. If I am to identify this, we last after opening, we have that decrease here. We then come off of this level and we bounced. After we bounced, we set those all-time highs with the Pepe token. However, what are we seeing right now? Well, we did see a massive decrease as said in the article, and we did come back onto this crucial level I just identified here. Now we bounced and we are currently testing this level of resistance at about 11060. However, what am I looking for in terms of the future predictions, short-term, if I'm gonna trade this with the Pepe token? Even though it is printing a very bearish doji at the moment, we still have an hour left on this candle. This is on the four hourly. 
but let's jump on in to the hourly and take a look. Now on the hourly, we can see that we come up to test this level of resistance here. It prior acted as resistance here. It is further acted as support here as well. This is a valid level and we can see it is currently looking like it is rejecting from this level. To confirm this rejection, we can see right here that yes, we did come up and test it. We have the MACD tapering off here with the histogram. And in addition, we did come over to overbought territory with the RSI that did overextend 81.97. That's pretty high. We have just entered on the hourly back in falling under that 14 period moving average with the RSI. So we could see a decrease and a confirmed rejection from this level. Now, where are our local levels on the hourly? Well, I am looking at two trades, a potential long and a potential short. I'm going to show you right now. If I'm to draw a line here, we can see that this was previously a level of support and will play as a level of support now as the price is above it. Now we can also note there is a level around about here. And the reason why I'm gonna put this yellow line here is for a potential short position. This is because we have very fast running price gaps right here, both ends. And if we are to fall under this level, right here at this green line at about 10.433, we could see a rapid decline of the Pepec price back down onto this yellow level, which wouldn't be a bad take profit target in my opinion, not yours. So let's take a look now as well at the Ichimoku cloud and exactly what it is telling us. We can see that it is computing future levels of support right here. So we could still see the price supported. It's gonna be very interesting to see whether or not we break below this level of support. Should we come back down with this confirmed rejection? So the first trade I'm looking at, if we have confirmation of a bounce, should we come back down and retest this level of support is a bounce trade for a long position. Most likely I'll be using around about three times leverage here. You can see right here with a larger than normal stop loss due to the wickage, we can see a risk to reward of 5.91 to a potential loss of 0.94%. If we fail to hold this level of support right here, we could definitely enter a short position. I'm gonna put this stop loss just above this recent uh, wick high um, here when we last tested this level as well because it is quite wicky at the moment. So I don't wanna be stopped out early. And again, for my take profit, I'll be a little bit generous, not exactly at this level because I think a lot of people are gonna be eyeing that off. That's a risk to reward of 4.35, not too bad, a potential loss of 1.25% to a potential gain of 5.4%. 2%. So these are the two trades I am looking at when it comes to the Pepe token. Again, it is driven by communal interest, i.e. on Twitter. It's a meme coin. It doesn't have any utility. Unlike Bitcoin, yes, we've flipped it on the daily, this bearish trend line, which is good. In addition, you must consider that, yes, Bitcoin is going to be that driving factor to some price movement. So when it comes to meme coins, it is very risky. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and always do your own research when it comes to trading any kind of meme coins. However, guys, that is it for today's video. I'm sorry about the voice. I am a little bit sick at the moment, but if you did enjoy the video, go ahead, like, subscribe, tick the notification bell and leave some comments. Do you think Pepe is dead and why potentially are more people starting to hold and accumulate Pepe? Until then, I'll see you in the next video.